hello my loves and welcome to the first video of 2024 i have missed you all so 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 much and i cannot wait to catch up with you and just to be honest just spend the day with you i'm really looking forward to it i have zero plans today i can hear the bunnies causing ruckus in the background for a moment okay they always get a little bit naughty around one o'clock because that's when their lunch is and they like to remind me if i'm late i've got some really nice plans today because i have no plans at all i have the apartment to myself so i can just focus chat to you guys and yeah just tick some things off my to-do list do some housework very mundane we are now mid-january and i definitely went about my goal setting and my kind of vision boarding differently this year because sometimes i find it so overwhelming going full steam ahead as soon as january starts so i've really eased into it I started back at work on the 8th, I think it was, and it was definitely a slow start. I was so out of the habit of routine and just like styling outfits that I almost just like forgot how to do it for a bit. So it was a slow start, but I'm fully back to work now and I'm loving it, I have to say. I'm really, really enjoying it. But yeah, going into the year, I set some very loose goals. I think I spent about half an hour uh, writing them all down and a lot, a lot of time over Christmas and New Year just really reflecting and just doing so much journaling which was really really nice. I feel like I've got a lot of clarity in my head at the moment which is honestly lovely because at the end of last year my brain was just so muddled. I just was like a half version of myself. It wasn't great but we're back and yeah I might do some of my goal setting today um, just properly putting it into like a document doing my vision board maybe i also want to do like a reverse vision board so like a vision board of what i accomplished and what i achieved last year because one of my goals is to kind of celebrate myself more which i know sounds really vain and egotistical but i think it's important that we celebrate our achievements and not just keep on moving on to the next thing because i'm very guilty of doing that so yeah i think i might do that this evening with a glass of wine for now i've got a little bit of housework to do and a bit of like normal kind of admin work as well um it's actually the weekend um but because i've got a free day i thought it'd be quite a nice day just to do a bit of work that i've been avoiding that kind of thing so let's go Okay, not my normal content, but I do get asked a lot of the time how I care for my clothes. And I was recently sent these in PR from Tallo and Ash. This is their laundry shampoo and laundry conditioner. And oh my goodness, I am obsessed. This is the scent Candy Beach, which doesn't sound very nice to be honest, because I don't really like, you know, sweet, sickly smells, but it doesn't smell sweet and sickly. This smells like a Maison Francis perfume honestly these are amazing but what is really good as well is that they smell like this even after you wash them because some of these like amazing francis um laundry dupes i think that's one from mns they smell nice but then when you wash your clothes you can't smell it but these this really like clings on to your clothes so i would really recommend whilst we're in the kitchen i need your guys advice um so i think i've mentioned it before i want to wrap the kitchen because it's currently gray and i just don't like gray i think it's a very cold color so yeah i'm trying to figure out what to do and it's taking me so long i just need to make a decision so hopefully you guys can help me a little bit so i've got one of the samples here this is a creamy white it looks more cold on camera but it's quite like a warm white so i was thinking of getting all of these up here in a creamy white and then let me show you the other sample and then the rest of the kitchen in this kind of like oaky dark wood sorry for all the dust i definitely need to hoover but um yeah it's just kind of like very warm dark wood and i think it's really nice it will definitely bring some depth into the space because at the moment the kitchen is two colors it is this dark gray i do not know what all of this here is by the way um i don't know if it's like sun damage or maybe damage from a cleaning product i'm not sure but it's going anyway so it's fine but anyway yeah all of the dark gray i'm thinking in the wood and then this light gray in this um cream color here or do i do the whole thing in the dark wood i can put up some inspo on the screen to show you what my vision is um but yeah currently undecided i am also undecided whether to change the countertops or not i think 
I'm more leaning towards no, just because it's a big job. It's also very expensive. I did get some quotes. I've got some samples. I've got like two quartz um, samples. This one is a lot of brighter white, which is kind of like nice brown veining. This one, this one is a more of a darker white, but with like a more of a gold dramatic veining. I really don't mind the surfaces we have right now. Uh, they're just like a very plain white. I have no issue with them. I guess my only reason to get these is just to make it look very premium. And I feel like the kitchen is such a good way of bringing up the value in your home. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is just kind of expense that is not going to add any value and it's just not really worth the time and hassle so let me know what you guys think i'd love to know your opinions but yeah other than that i do really love my little kitchen it's such a good size for me and it's got so much storage <laughs> the only thing i don't love about it is that i cannot reach half of the shelves everything is um i can just about reach the top of this shelf and then there's another shelf up here so that's just probably me being too small. Yes, it is a very tall kitchen. Whilst we're on the home chat, I've also updated this little corner and I love it. This frame and print was a gift for Christmas from my parents. My mum did this print. I don't know how old she was. She was maybe my age. It's of the famous movie star um, Louise Brooks. And she created the print and then my dad framed it and I just love it. Um, we actually have this print at home. And my mum had some spare, so she gave one to me. And then um, I also switched out the old kind of autumnal brown flowers for these beautiful bright green. And honestly, you would never know these are fake. Um, I get all of my faux flowers from the Suffolk Nest, same place where the vase is from, and the pedestal is H&M. But yeah, I really love the pop of green and this kind of little vignette. I think it works really nicely. I feel like little touches like that just make a home feel so much more homely. And it was just such a nice gift that I'm going to cherish forever. I want to also show you guys some of the other Christmas gifts I got. Because I think this is my favourite Christmas ever in terms of um, the presents I got. Just because they all felt really thoughtful and um i wasn't expecting any of them really so yeah my parents obviously got me the frame and uh, they also got me some like bedding and like very kind of boring adult things but things i really appreciate so my brother got me this book which is called ichigo itchy i'm probably saying that so wrong the art of making the most of every moment the japanese way the blurb says every moment in our life happens once and if we let it slip away we lose it forever an idea captured by the japanese phrase ichigo itchy often used to convey that an experience or an encounter is unique and special. It is a tenet of Zen Buddhism and is attributed to a 16th century master of the Japanese tea ceremony or ceremony of attention whose intricate rituals compel us to focus on the present moment. From this old age concept comes a new kind of mindfulness. And the reason this made me so happy is just because my brother came to visit um, not long ago and I was telling him about my goals for this um the coming year in 2024 and i said one main thing i really want to focus on is like having this feeling of inner peace and being able to live in the moment without lots of other things going on in my head and it was a very kind of passing conversation but he remembered it and then he bought me this book which i just think is such a nice gesture shows that you know he really was listening to what i was saying and wanted to help me so um yeah gifts like this just mean so much to me and then my lovely assistant grace this is another moment where she was listening to something i was saying or a conversation we were having and then she bought something because of it um, so she bought me the rose and caramel purity xl tan remover because we were talking about it and i was like oh i'm definitely gonna buy that but she kind of knew that i was probably going to forget so she bought it for me and it is so good i've only ever tried the bondi sands tan remover didn't really like it doesn't really work also hate the smell hate the application just don't like it this is amazing put it on your skin dry and leave it on for like a minute or two and then you wipe it off in the shower and it just gives you a new fresh layer of skin gets off all of your tan so i would definitely say this is worth the hype she also got me something else oh yeah she also got me some eye cream i was telling her about how i have this eye eczema and she saw this product on tiktok shop that um is supposed to be really good it's the inkyless caffeine eye cream and yeah it definitely helps so again just a really thoughtful gift and then b got me some wine glasses because we are definitely in need of some new ones they're just these lovely kind of elegant thin ones from 
LSA. And then she also got me a hamper filled with like all of my favorite snacks and chocolates and just like little bits and bobs. And it nearly made me cry. Just like somebody like recognizing the things that you like and putting it all together. Like you could just tell that she really thought about it and I just love that. And then the last gift I received, which was definitely very unexpected, and a lot of you guys have noticed on Instagram already and you've messaged me about it. But it's this um, Masika necklace. If you watched my video before Christmas, you will remember me buying this ring for myself. And then when I was buying this, I was torn between this one, which has the diamonds going around the band, and then the other one, which has just a gold band. So I rang my boyfriend and I was asking him which one he thinks I should go for. And when I was ringing him about it, he was so excited and he was like, yes, you definitely have to get the one of the whole diamonds, treat yourself. Um, and he was really, really keen on this one. And I remember thinking, this is really strange why he's so keen on it. And then for Christmas, when I opened the gift he got me, he got me this necklace. So now I kind of understand why he wanted me to get the diamonds because he wanted it to match the gift that he got me. It was a really unexpected present because he doesn't normally buy me like designer things. He tends to buy me more practical things like he bought me this lamp, he normally gets me an experience or a trip or something, but he's never actually bought me anything materialistic. I'm not expecting it at all. And I also didn't ask for it, so it was just a really nice coincidence that it just happened to be that brand that I was interested in myself already. I just think it is so pretty. There's the two diamonds either side and then the kind of pendant with the moving diamonds in the middle. I have to say these are great for people who like to fiddle because I'm constantly fiddling with the diamonds. So yeah, I feel like a really, really, really lucky girl for all of the really kind of kind and thoughtful, meaningful gifts that I got this year. I was about to come on and chat to you guys and then I remembered I look like this because I've just filmed a tutorial for my Instagram. If you know, you know what this is. If you don't know, this is a heatless curl method for overnight and I've tried all of the heatless curl methods. I've been doing them since I was maybe 13. I was so into all of my beauty and hair things um, from such a young age. I remember all my friends were really into dream matte mousse and makeup and stuff and I was always very into things I could do like naturally which is kind of niche. But yes, after all of these years this one is 100% my favorite way. It is completely fail safe and it just gives you so much volume. If you want to see how I do it, plus the results, um, head to my Instagram highlight, it's under hair. Um, I would take this out. Should I take this out to talk to you guys? No, it's fine, we're all friends here. Um, but I just wanted to chat to you guys about the um, reverse vision board that I did tonight. Is that what it's called? There must be a better name for it, but I'm gonna call it reverse vision board for now. And as I mentioned earlier, I did this because I really wanted to look back and kind of appreciate and feel grateful for the year and also look at my achievements. Um, and actually it's done so much more than that. So let me show you. This is my screen. So there's lots going on here. I've got some like really good moments in my career, like the British Fashion Awards, working with Jimmy Choo, Bulgari, um, featuring in magazines like Who, What, Where, Grazia, some of my favorite brand trips, like the Ritz, Paris, uh, Goldberg, Courchevel, and uh, some of my favorite campaigns. Also just some favorite moments, like hitting a million on Instagram, doing Tough Mud Up with B was definitely up there. Galloping through the desert was also up there. That was at the beginning of the year. I've got lots of like highlights up here. And first of all, it's so nice to see all in one space. I am such a donut because all of my batteries are dead. So I'm gonna really quickly try and go through this. But yeah, doing this exercise has given me so much perspective on the year and trying to grab photos and go through my camera roll, and I've taken so many notes about each moment, how I felt during that moment, things I want to change for next year, kind of like what I learned from it, what went well, basically doing kind of like a 
what do you call it, a SWOT analysis. And it's also really, really inspired me for my vision board next year, or the one I'm going to do, well, the one I was supposed to do tonight, but I actually have run out of time. My vision board for 2023 is very different to this. My board was very kind of like, I don't know, it was almost like I was scared about things not happening on my vision board. So I was thinking a little bit small and I wasn't dreaming as big as I could have. And that was to do with, I think my mindset at the time, I wasn't really, really excited for the year, as excited as I normally am. Um, so this has definitely inspired me to think bigger for next year, for this year even, and also to put more of a variety of things on there, both personally and work-wise, travel-wise, all of that kind of thing. So this is actually a really good exercise and I would recommend doing it. Actually looking back at this, it's really nice because I feel really proud of it, especially because last year, my mental health wasn't the best. It was definitely very up and down because I kept on trying to come off um, my medication, my um, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication. And that caused just like, my mental health was just like this last year. So many points where I felt so low for no reason at all. So many moments where I felt really anxious. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth doing something like this. And obviously I have a lot of photos to show for everything I do because I take photos of everything, it's my job. And I understand that a lot of you guys might not have as many photos in the bank as I do. But if you don't have any photos of like your achievements, you can just like write them down or get a picture to represent it that you can find on Pinterest or something. My camera is still flashing red so I'm going to quickly wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching the first video back of 2024. I really really enjoyed filming this video. Okay my camera did die but I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so so much for watching this video. I love you all so 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 much. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. If any of you guys decide to do a reverse vision board do let me know, send me an Instagram DM or something or tag me in your stories because I would really love to see. And with that, I will love you and leave you. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.